Hello and welcome back to Ash of Guns. We are seeing uh, what happened at Woden a long time ago, so let's just get started. You observe the surroundings from a tall rampart. It's your job to foresee any threats, especially those another might overlook. Something menacing is in the air. It might have something to do with the prisoners. You're a bodyguard of the highest rank, a warrior of the Shadow Clan. Your client, Count Palco Saturi, shows you off like a golden belt buckle. It makes no difference to you. In the end, you're loyal to your clan. He was so-called Low Pank. The streets are full of gawkers, city dwellers and villagers who brought their whole families to the festival. However, the temple inquisitors, not itinerant entertainers, preside over the ceremonies. They offer a special kind of entertainment. There will be executions and torture uh, to commemorate the spring equinox. This time, there will be an astonishing number of victims. The, vic uh, the city will drown in blood. I don't know about that. Doesn't sound like that big of a party to me. I don't know. I'm not sold. Hell yeah, just kill a lot of people. Save them for this special occasion. <clears throat> Your client is meeting an important temple servant. You should stay close. Sure. Commanding the guardsman is a tall temple servant. Uh, many in the crowd whisper his name, Nakoma. Khan Palko Saturi approaches him, arms wide open. Finally, you're here. How was the journey, your holiness? What news? Would you like to rest or begin the festivities immediately? Have you considered my request? <laughs> Remain impassive. Turn to face the count. Okay, let's just face him. The count notices you watching him and puffs off, self-importantly. No need to fret, Count. The Fur Legion is already on the march. You should let fate do the work then, considering the command of, of free legions. All the commanders might suffer from falling sickness, or their tents could be attacked by bandits. Do you follow me? Does the temple permit such tricks of fortune? How should I pursue a fate like this? Will the temple advise me? The Temple of the Divine Rat only instills anger, so take my advice. I'm gonna listen in. Lowering his voice. <clears throat> if the acorns are as good as they say, here's your solution. Your bodyguard will do anything you wish. Unless, of course, it's not in his contract. Everyone knows that I have an icon in my service. They'll know it was me. Besides, I, I don't want to lose a bodyguard of this of his caliber. They say an icon is worth 50 Frisian warriors. Money-wise, that's certainly true. Your icon can bring you uh, your free legions more easily than a servant bringing a chamber pot. Test him if you doubt him. I like this sort of entertainment. If your bodyguard slays a dozen or two uh, Frisian guards, I'll turn a blind eye. You stand, you are absolutely still. A premonition touches you like a breeze, but your inner peace is undisturbed. You're always ready for whatever happens. Low Pank, stay here. I need to speak with His Holiness in private. Don't worry. I'll be safe in Nakoma's company. Meanwhile, make sure that everything is in order. Uh, show the reaction. The Count frowns, but he's unsurprised. This day last year, two murderers were tortured to death in the city square. This year brings many more victims, but they look nothing like murderers. How do murderers look like? People recoil from the scrawny, brown robed inquisitor. You should give him a closer look. Let's check him out. It seems that the ungainly fellow is the executioner. 
He is in conversation with an old inquisitor, clad in black robes bearing the sign of the temple. The old man appears to outrank him, but the executioner will preside over the coming festivities. The executioner checks the steel spikes uh, protruding from the wall and then looks in a tin box. Ogryn! Why the blazes did we uh, drive this herd to Warden? You can only hang 10 people at time here. Do you mean to drive back the rest? The older man uh, rummages through a canvas bag. Did you plug your ears when I went over the details? We slaughter a dozen, maybe two here. Then we... Then rest we drive further. We're working for a grand cause, Mal. The ears, by the way. Don't forget the ears. Peek? Peek into Mel's box. You sneak a peek under the lid of Executioner's box. Knives, hooks, pincers, tongs and steel spikes glisten ominously. The owner of these instruments clearly loves his job. Mel giggles. <laughs> I remember your collection. What should I cut off that's different? Noses, perhaps? As for the grand cause, I'm happy arranging smaller affairs. Smaller is sweeter. Ogrim laughs. Don't tell me, I saw you drool, slicing a wench from breast to crotch, just to see her gut spill. Just wait for it. You'll soon have it your way. We we'll slay them by the hundreds. Damn. Mel blissfully closes his eyes. So all this talk about opulent Perkana isn't just gossip. It's a long way to go. Many won't make it. Still, there's nothing like fresh meat. Mel rubs his hands together. You wonder why anyone would drive prisoners toward war. Usually it's the opposite. Before you can approach the old man, Nakuma beats you to the punch. Yet Woden is an ancient fortress. You stand in the square at a specific spot. Conversations can be heard at a distance. And Nakuma nods in your direction. <clears throat> Did you ever torture a man from the Shadow Clan? Burn him with his with hot irons? Cut his sinews? They say these men don't feel pain. The Inquisitor shrugs. Icons aren't really humans. Rumor has it you can cut a child into pieces in front of an icon, and unless he was hired to protect that child, a warrior of the Shadow Clan won't so much as blink. It is said they have no hearts. Nakona smirks scornfully. As if you had a heart. Will you flinch if you have to cut up a child? How many have you disemboweled already? Perhaps we have something in common with warriors of the Shadow Clan. I'd love to see that one in action. Show Nakona that you heard everything? No, no, no. Let remain serene. Nakona meets your eye, but you look right through him, into the void. The old man coughs. <clears throat> I have a heart, your holiness. On occasion it even itch it even aches a bit. Yours will too, when you live long as I. What do you think? Will we defeat Berkana this time? Nakona pats the old man on the shoulder. Soon you'll see everything for yourself. All we need is to spill some blood. Lots of blood in the proper place. Wooden is only the beginning, Ogren. A red-haired prisoner girl watches you intently. She's bursting to speak. Oh, I'm gonna bust her out. I have enough of this. <clears throat> Haggard, false smelling prisoners are pressed against the wall. The red-haired girl doesn't look traumatized, though she certainly is. You lose sight of her for a moment as, the guard, as, as guards drag a scrawny old man from the crowd. Wheat. Uh, more women stand behind the red-haired girl, but she alone watches you. You remain calm and impassive, even when she calls out to you in Icon. The red-haired girl is definitely not Icon. If she were, you'd have been forced to abandon your service and save your kin. Nothing else can interfere with your service to Paku Saturi, who pays you so well. Come on! This is bullshit! I don't care what these people did. It seems it seems like too much. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> hey, warrior. My name is Reet. Can you feel what's happening? Isn't it time you remembered your duty? 
You remain silent. Your inner peace is absolute. Open your eyes. That temple warrior isn't human. It's a reaper in human form. Enough of your tales. You're a warrior of peace. Nothing should disrupt your inner calm. You should go with the flow of life. Not stand midstream like a rock. The girl can't unnerve you. As you leave, she hisses hatefully. Wow, I'm such a jerk. Damn you! You have no idea! The reaping is coming! The reaping! You remain silent. The warrior's code of the Shadow Clan prescribes inner calm. Otherwise you aren't useful. They get substantial sums of money from Count Palkusitore. You turn around to find Nakuma staring at you with a contemptuous grin. He gives a sign. You hear screams and choices choices swear words behind your back. The guards have picked up the red the girl Reed and are carrying her to the dais. The temple servant watches you closely. Oh she's in the middle now. That would wait what? I have nothing to do. What now, game? I'm watching intently. Oh, well, I can look around the crowd. Is there anything to click on? Oh, there is. Oh, you could have told me that. Okay. Festivities are about to begin, with nothing else to do, maybe you wait near your client? Let's do that. You stand beside Palco Satori. He's unfazed by the muffled howls of the prisoners, the grumbling of the crowd, or the smoke from the executioner's brazier. He's almost triumphant, in fact. What will you do, Lopank? Knowing that a Frisnian official plots my death? What if he plans to send assassins after me? You know the answer. Yeah, I like that. I know nothing. There are two officials fighting for command of the legion entrusted to me by the temple. They'll be at each other's throats once I'm dead, but that's not exactly comforting, is it? The legions are already in the march, but neither commander has joined them yet. One of them just passed through the Gallian Tunnel. The other is a bit ahead of him. They don't have a, a large entourage. You, you'll manage. The threat isn't obvious. Who will protect you while I away? I'll be perfectly safe with the Nakona. The temple servant is here. I want to test you first. There's a wench who dared to scorn his holiness. The red haired scum mocked him all the way to Woden. Kill her. And if I become commander of the free legions, I'll double your pay. Damn. I like money. Is that the only test? No, but the next one will cost you nothing. When you put the girl out of her misery, the guards will attack, kill them too. Several runaway prisoners will add to the confusion and nobody will blame me for the turmoil. Wait a second. That's, that's bullshit. I signed up to defend you and now you're just telling me to kill somebody? Who is about to get murdered, but also get kill the guards? How about no? Because they will blame the Shadow Clan. You have nothing to fear, Icon. If you sort out these officials, I have enough power to quell any discontent. You have my word. I'm not stupid. I shall not kill her. I'm not stupid. I sign up to defend you. That's it. I shall not slay anyone sent to kill you, however, I, I shall slay anyone sent to kill you, however many there are, but I'm not an executioner. Narrowing his eyes cunningly, well Icon, remember this, Palco Satori always gets what he wants, regardless of what's written in a contract, you'll see. The Frizz... Frisians are cunning. They pay the sons of the Shadow Clan handsomely for their services, but easily go back on their words. You expect it. You're ready for them. But as the tortured redhead asks, are you ready for the truth? 
Well, would you, you should just pay me up front. Silence falls over the square. The spread eagled wretches on the wall freeze in anticipation of their dreadful fates. The only sound are the clicking of the executioner's instruments being laid out on the bench and the flapping of banners over the burgomaster's head. I'm gonna watch the prisoners. This is bullshit. I can't... Well, I suppose if I was there... And I would live... If I lived in such circumstances, I would probably just get used to the fact that this happens and it's out of my control. And also, I would probably just... Uh, rather not know what they did. I just assumed that they did something. I suppose there are some who deserve it, but others are probably... There's an overreach here. Choose to not watch the execution. I'm gonna watch the prisoners. The prisoners are... Prisoners at the foot of uh, the wall can barely stand. Few men, and very, the very old and very young, remain. The mostly female crowd falls to the ground, horrified at hearing the anguished cries of an old man being tortured coming from the wall. Then the redhead starts to sing. She weaves a temple hymn making rich and poor alike uh, bear their heads. Her voice uh, peals across the square, resonating as if under a vaulted ceiling. Everyone stands transfixed by the melody, moved to tears as if uh, searching for something within themselves. Just get the red-headed woman out of there! <laughs> and... Come on, let's give Pal Palkun the story the eyes and save the red-headed woman. You turn to face the Count, sweating and gasping in anger. He presses his palm to his chest, saluting the spear-eagled girl on the wall as though she were the primarch of the divine Temple of the Divine Brat. The guardsmen's helmets are removed, sharp blades are lowered. Prisoners and onlookers weep uncontrollably. You know that a temple service cannot end in an execution. It is forbidden. As this thought forms reaper appears oh look at that something resembling a bloated gray corpse with a greasy black mane emerges from the yard in front of the gate he moves toward the dais determined to end the song you draw your sword i don't think so we're having a nice song in this middle of this in the middle of this bloody execution i don't think so Oh. Alright. Oh, what? I really hope. Wait, as what is this? How OP am I? I'm just getting killed, right? Deal 15 damage. What, what do I get here? Protection from knockback. You will launch a counterattack if possible. All agents adjacent units. Lose health. Sunburn. He's strong. But unless he can also get some heals, it's pointless. I don't want to check out the guy. I'm gonna kill him. All adjacent units. That's actually not exactly like how I expected it to happen. Wait a second. Am I gonna do? Do damage to both of them? No, only one of them. Oh, I kind of suspected that's gonna be a thing. It's got, cost me nine health. Actually, I can go in there. 
and do damage to three of them. Deal 60 damage. Increase your energy and all damage received is dealt to health. Doesn't end turn. How, how about increase my defense? I just kill a lot of people. Oh no! They got some archers? Those should die. Okay. I'm going to kill the small ones first. Or maybe that's good. At Is that a bad idea? Oh, they're using their health. To deal damage to me. He kills himself. That's stupid. Am I seriously gonna pull this off? These actually don't cost a lot. I just killed this guy. Am I supposed to... Really? I'm, I have to play it again? Okay, let's start with these guys. I guess I get it now. How much damage they do? So the goal here, we're just gonna get closer and closer to the the guy. And the, if he only attacks us once, looks like all the spearman guys are kind of bad. So I'm just gonna go and try to take him out. Reduces defense by nine. Maybe don't do that. Wait a second, what does this do? It's only energy damage. Okay, that's a good idea. Increasing my energy. We don't know which one is gonna come next. This could be a good finisher, but I think this is permanent reduce of... Looks like it's gonna be effect until the next turn. Why I can only do half damage? It's only half damage. It's only half damage, damn it. All my attacks are only half damage. Is it gonna come last? Because if so, I'm just gonna pump my defense to the maximum. Okay, we're gonna increase our defense. That seems like a good one. Adjacent. Nice. We got him. I don't know how risky is that. It looks damn risky. But we would kill this guy. 
which is amazing. Oh, they're all dead. Alright, that side's done. Well done. I guess that was a good strategy. Killed by your blow, the monster turns into a wisp of fog. Sacred strix set into the steel of your blaze sizzles and burns out. The mystery is solved. This is what made the Reaper vulnerable. A strange weakness washes over you, making you stagger. Did the monster curse you? Your eyes meet, uh, Reeds. She's being a hard nut to crack. Two swings of the sword is enough to cut the ropes binding her. The moment you set her free, she rushes, rushes to the other prisoners. The rest isn't your responsibility. Your road leads to the Isle of Shadows now. But first, you need to overcome the strange weakness. Many generations of warriors lived their life knowing that if a uh, reaping comes, they have to do they have to oppose the reapers. Whoever cuts even one of them down should bring news of it to the Shadow Clan. Your service to Palkasutori has ended. In the first days of the great disaster, you rushed to a backwater town on the edge of a Burkanan kingdom. This time, it seems the dice rolling on the game board will be carved out of your bones. Damn. We not follow Hopper Ruli? Really? Come on. <clears throat> Perhaps this is a good time to take a break. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.